$34,000 in crypto, and then I have five Ethereum. And we're going to hold, hodl, hold on for dear life. Do you have any crypto right now in your sizable portfolio? I have none. None. What are you holding on to right now? Just, just stonks. You're a piece of shit. <laughs> you have like, you're like my mother. My mother had like one share of McDonald's. <laughs> My mother would get one share of a company. She'd be like, I have one share of Exxon. Yeah. She had like stock certificates in a book. She had like one share of a company or like two or three shares of a company. It's amazing. But you're not that much better than that. No, 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 no. Our criminal friends, Devin and Ida, own uh, a small purse mm. of crypto, a little wallet, right? Couple hundred bucks. I, I imagine. think they have a couple hundred dollars, mm. and they watch the crypto market like like our friend Ida watches the market like her life depends on it, and she's just on the edge of her seat watching this and just reading and studying. She could make so much more money on OnlyFans. Just show the gash, but she's trying to learn about uh, cryptocurrencies and central banking. Central banking, show your ass. She's attractive. Stop talking about fiat currency. Show your feet and earn a living. Now. I keep telling her that. I've told a lot of my friends, and I don't mean anything nasty by this. In fact, I wish someone would tell me this, but we know why they're not going to because, you know, I have a very, I have a specific look. I've told many of my friends, you should become a prostitute. You should have sex for money. Are you not listening to me? Well, I'm thinking about, uh, well, the fiat current. Have sex with strangers and have them pay you. Uh, are you not <laughs> understanding what I'm saying? You're good looking enough. It is a compliment. Yes. To tell someone that they can fuck for money. That is a compliment. And if and I've had people get offended when I've said that. People have been mad at me because I have told them that they should start a little a little at a time, not like dive in, but like begin to think about transitioning into being a whore. And they're angry at me. They're actually, people have had really bad reactions to that piece of information, which is very logical. Nothing wrong with sex work mm -mm. at all. Mm -mm. And I think many people need to get off your high horse and, 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 and let's get realistic and get it and do it now before you lose value in the marketplace. You know, before you, and men and women and, and non-binary people, we're talking to everyone. Now. I'm telling most of you to become prostitutes that, that fit a certain, and even if you don't, there'll always be, some, like I could be a prostitute, but it's for such a small sliver of the population. Like it's for a, it's, like people will fuck me, but to pay to fuck me, you it's got to, you have to have a real fetish, and it's a small segment of the population. But if I marketed myself appropriately, I could do it. But so, but some of our friends are very attractive, and there's no reason that they're talking all the time, and they're trying to understand the world and how it works when they could be taking photos and videos of themselves, putting different things in their ass. Is that wrong? Mm -mm. Imagine if that was your work day and you could kind of do it. Mm -hmm. You have a look where you could do it. Truly. If you wanted to become a prostitute, you would make more money on this show. Like if you had an OnlyFans. What would I do on OnlyFans? Show your dick. The problem with you is you have no, you, you're, you're, you're very good looking, but you're like, you're, you're a, like a dullard and you're, you don't like your brain doesn't work. So what it is, is like the, the people have to create the fantasy completely themselves. Cause you, you, you kind of like, you, you look like you're a kid that like, like when you were young, <laughs> like you heard a lot of loud noises <laughs> and you have that, that 
type of so when you you look at someone, you don't know how to be like hey, it's sexy. It's a, it you just you're not fully developed mm -hmm. in in that way, like emotionally, like m like maturely. You don't. I don't know if you can really like turn it on in a, but you can just do it with photos. You just get your dick. You just jerk off on OnlyFans. Mm -hmm. Do a video of, of me swinging it. Yeah, if you have a big enough dick where you can swing it around, mm -hmm. which we all know that you have a big dick. Mm -hmm. um, if you can swing it around, I don't know if you can really swing it around. <laughs> I mean, you keep saying how big your dick is. You can, can you really like swing it like that? I mean, what are we talking like? Like uh, I don't know what to, how much what are the tears like David and Goliath like the, the the old school slingshot like that. I don't know what you're saying. Using biblical references, we're talking about practical applications of what you can do. The problem is you you when you when people look at you, you're not there. You're mm -hmm. somewhere else all the time, mm -hmm. and the people want you to be kind of there. You know what I mean? Yeah, and I can't really do a neck down thing. Why? Because I don't have like a good body. Like I don't have like I'm it's, not ripped. I'm it's not shredded. Not, no, it's not great. But it's <laughs> fine. Enough. It's fine for OnlyFans. Right. But you just you just have to change the way you like interface. You know, or may, people might be into that. Like like uh, like because there's a lot of like. I don't know if is that could be a fantasy like a like a big dick autistic like caretaker and an Airbnb like <laughs> or you're like a groundskeeper with a big dick you're just autistic like I feel like people would want that yeah. and that's not a I'm not trying to offend you I'm just telling you that's a better life than what we do here <laughs> It's truly a better life I see all these people out here doing comedy, starting podcasts, and God bless them. But I look at some of them, I go, hey, just, you want attention, you could get it a lot of different ways, you know?